All right, guys, we're going to do a basic final on the single plane and the dual plane. Single plane was flowed with the clay domes, because I haven't made up the solid ones yet. Dual plane is flowed, as you see it, with the epoxy in it. All the flows were taken on this port, which is our final quickie copy. These are our dual plane flows. Now, it's number two and number seven, okay? Number two, real sharp corner. Number seven on the bottom doesn't have as sharp a corner. Take a look at how close we got those flows. Now, I'm not going to say I didn't have to do extra work on number two with the sharp corner. I did, but I think it turned out really, really well. I mean, if you take a look anywhere, they're pretty close as far as flows. The swirls, really not bad. Down a little bit on the number seven. But overall, not bad. Now, we had a question the other day. Where was this manifold stock? I don't remember if I did it completely stock on the cylinder head. I think I I was checking it out. I was trying to simulate carburetors on it. And uh, 135 sticks in my head. So if it started out, yeah, that, 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 yeah, 135, 134 it was. So still almost 40, 40 CFM up. That's huge. It's a huge difference, right? You can see quite a bit of work in that plenum, right? To get that to, to flow. Okay, single plane intake. Now this started at about 168 CFM, I believe. Still almost 30 CFM up. That's a big difference. Okay, we did number two and number seven, which are both outside ports, right? Longer ports. Take a look how close those came. Really, really close. And the swirls are really good as far as being uh, similar, I should say. Uh, overall, pretty happy with the way they look looks uh, right now before i forget eric weingartner did a great video today you have to check it out he flowed a ton of intake manifolds on a 400 cubic inch mule motor afr donated a set of uh 195 enforcer heads which flow around uh, 100 uh, 280 cfm he mentioned on Speed Talk that they were flowing about 240 through the intake manifold. Now think about that, right? You've got an enforcer that flows 280, and you're putting it on something like a Hurricane or a big Edelbrock single plane, and it's flowing 240. That sounds about right to me. Now these are stock. These haven't been ported, so he'll be able to get that flow way up. But still, that sounds about right because I've done, I've got AFRs in stock and I've flowed uh, like Victor Jr. on it. And uh, the Victor Jr. stock was not even 240. So that's believable to me. Now he made, I have to remember this now, 566 horsepower. The Hurricane was the best. So he made 566 horsepower with about 240, maybe 250 CFM of air. It makes this look pretty good considering what it is. I mean, it's a very short plenum. Short. Okay, all of the dual planes and single plane, uh, all the single planes he was flowing, quite tall. In fact, the Hurricanes did the best. I believe they have the highest carb, carb height. Probably no, uh, no mistake there. In any case, you got to check that out. What did he wind up flowing? He flowed three hurricanes, different styles, 
a couple Edelbrocks, an Edelbrock dual plane, an AFR dual plane, an old Holly single plane, and I probably forgot a couple, and a Torque Link. The Torque, torque Link was uh, the worst. He won't even use it again. I think that's hysterical. I really don't blame him. Uh, I've, I've looked at the Torque Link and I could not figure out what they were thinking as far as pulses and so forth. That doesn't, does not compute. But if he's making that much power, of course it's not apples to apples. He's got a big roll of cam in it. You know, it's not apples to apples to this 318 build. But still, if we got 177, I'm going to say the other runners are going to be pretty close to that. I'm going to get around to flowing all of them. I've got a bunch of other stuff i got to get done first, though. And this should make pretty good power for what it is. You know, over 200 CFM. Now we just got to worry about what they're going to do with the carb and the rest of the build. Uh, DV was supposed to get me Uncle Tony's uh, info so I could uh, tell him about the uh, open chamber heads I need. He probably has them laying around. I have a set of 318 exhaust manifolds coming. I've got a 318 TBI intake that's coming. And uh, <laughs> looking at the TBI intake, they took this intake and saw all the problems with it and basically fixed it right at the factory. <laughs> I'm going to say if that if this intake's flowing 272, I'm going to bet that throttle body injection flows about 150 without me doing anything. I'm going to flow that completely stock. I bet that flows 150 without me touching it. And it should definitely go more than 177 after I put some work into it. So that'll be an interesting little experiment. Let me see if I can think of anything else to bring you guys up to speed with. All right, guys, I can't think of anything else right now. Oh, I know what I got. Spacers are in the mail, so they'll be here momentarily, more or less. And uh, you guys are in for a treat when you see him. The guy did an outrageous job on him. Looking forward, looking forward to showing them off to you guys and definitely looking forward to testing them on these intakes. I haven't done the, uh, the, the epoxy domes for this because I want to do some testing on it with that uh, spacer first. The dual plane I knew needed, needed help, so I have no problem putting them, putting that in an epoxy and calling it a day. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.